Hey guys, I am really excited to share with you today. Um, truly honored to have this opportunity. Um, but I know how valuable your time is, how much you're hustling. I mean, there's two weeks left in this um, push. And I want to make sure that I am getting all this information in a short amount of time so that you get to work. Um, I know it's a lot to watch all these videos. So I want to try to give you as much as I can in a short time. Um, I'm going to share with you, my system looks like more like on paper a little bit later, but I wanna talk through it first. And so uh, I wanna keep this video you know, within 10 to 15 minutes, okay? Um, and so just so you know, um, this, people are kind of impressed with this software. It's called BeLive.TV, so it's, um, it's free right now. I think it's under like a beta testing and they might charge eventually for it. But um, anyway, you're able to schedule your apply videos, so people can get reminders. So kind of a fun thing. Plus you can like share it maybe to your profile. So I post this on my um, my page, like my, my business page, my like page, and then I'll share it to my profile as a way to get people to um, hop on. So um, anyway, let me kind of get into this. So um, I want to talk to you about creating your no fail plan because it's April 3rd and I know most people go into their month not really having a plan. Um, they just see that big fat zero <laughs> on the you know, success club points and they're just like overwhelmed and afraid. But they don't do a whole lot about it. <laughs> they don't do a whole lot about it that's intentional. So um, I want you to think about this. Like how would it feel to hit your success club goals? Like in like the first week of the month. Like I am very possibly gonna be a success club 10 by the end of today, perhaps. And it's because of this no fail plan. Um, and that brings me a lot of freedom and a lot of liberation to focus on grooming and training my new coaches, recruiting coaches, um, creating epic success in my challenge groups so that I have amazing transformations and testimonials and people who wanna be coaches and are my most loyal, challengers and most loyal, loyal HD customers who want to become coaches. Um, how would that feel to have so much more time to invest in that, into creating um, people don't, that don't leave the company for other opportunities because they have had such an amazing experience with your challenge group. Um, they've had such an amazing experience with your products. Um, they refer challengers to you. They fall in love with Shakeology. You have time to invest in um, get, uh, helping people see the value of Shakeology and not, you know, being those discount coaches who are always inactive or those HD customers, those customers who never become HD because you've just been so concerned about hitting your success club numbers every month that you're not actually creating a loyal culture, a loyal, um, loyal customers. So I want you to think about how that would feel. Being able to spend time working with your the, the people on your team who have joined and helping them create success. So that's the plan and that's what we're going to work on today. So um, this also helps you with creating, I'm going to plug my, this is going to be distracted by this red bar. So let me go ahead and plug this in. Um, okay. This also helps me to create a social media marketing strategy. So, you know, you don't feel like each month you're kind of just throwing spaghetti at the wall. So I know when I have this no fail plan, each week, what I'm focusing on, what to direct my social media at. Um, you may have heard many other coaches share their plans, and I used to follow, I used to try to like um, do what they were doing, but ultimately you're gonna find something that works for you. I'm gonna share what works for me, and then I'm gonna talk to you about how you might create your own. Um, but let me walk you through mine. Um, this is also something that I think is duplicatable and that you can share with your coaches and your um, your new coaches to help them feel confident. I think this is very scary to them. And when you have something that is so like um, scripted out like this to help them, that gives them a lot of confidence that they can do this. My coaches, almost all of my coaches who are successful follow a very similar, if not the exact kind of plan that I do because um, it's effective because it works. So, um, so many of you, though, um, so many of you have commented to me um, after that first video, that kickoff. Um, I got so many awesome messages and comments. Like, you guys overwhelmed me. Like, it was so um, cool to get that feedback from so many of you who um, said that you identified with me or my story touched you or, you know, it spoke to you because, you, you know, it was you related to it a lot. Um, I am going to look at these comments later because I'm not really good at um, doing both. My ADHD brain does not do well. So I will come back and um, answer these <laughs> at a later time. So I apologize. Um, 
So, so many of you sent me those messages that saying, you know, you can relate to um, kind of being the warm, fuzzy coming in coach, not really needing to be successful, not really having a huge why, you know, it wasn't about creating income, you were comfortable, um, you didn't need success in the business traditionally, um, you know, you didn't have anything like super dramatic to bring to the table so your motivation wasn't necessarily there. Um, but you just kind of just have this heart to help, whatever. A lot of you, and, and I just so appreciate it. And I want to talk to you guys tomorrow more about that. I want to talk to you more about how um, how I have created drive and ambition and and um, like a relentless approach to this business with that. Um, but not today. But I, I do want to speak to you. I want to I want to speak to you right now about how important this is for you. How important this no fail plan is for you. I'm going to get a little bit real. I'm going to get a little bit, I'm going to step on some toes, but I, and I apologize. I do. I say it because I am you. Okay. Um, so I'm not the, I'm not the coach that came in like super focused type a expert time management. Like I struggle with that very seriously. I'm not a structured girl. I don't create super structured systems really in general. Um, I've been known to beat myself up about not being that coach, that same trait that so many top coaches seem to have. Uh, but what I am is somebody who fell in love with helping people and having purpose and just feeling so fulfilled by this. Um, the problem with people like me, though, is that we are the best at BSing ourselves about, oh, I don't need success. And so when things don't happen, when the numbers don't happen, we're really good at um, brushing it off like, oh, well, I just wanted to help people. This isn't about numbers anyway. I'm just going to be here to like, you know, bring joy and love to the world. Well, that's such crap because it is really um, masking a fear. And I don't know what that fear is for you. It's going to be very different. And we can talk more about that tomorrow. Um, but I think it gets really dangerous because oftentimes we see people who are doing uh, really well, people who are putting the numbers on the board, people who are rank advancing, people who are all doing all those things that we kind of said you wanted to do, but when we're not doing it, we make excuses for it. We judge them. We say, oh, well, they must not like, they're just all about the success and the money and the numbers and the rank advancements. And they must not like really be um, honoring their other priorities. We like, we get really good about that. And I want to just caution you against that attitude, and that behavior. I want you to take a second and, um, not, I'm not going to say do anything with it right now. I'm not going to say like check yourself and go, you know, hustle and whatever. I'm going to say just identify the fear that is actually the truth right there. Um, for me, it was self-preservation. Um, I said that because I didn't want to put myself out there. I said that because I was afraid. Because here's what I know. People like us, people like us who say with all the warm, fuzzy, the pearl personalities, you should be the best at this business. You should. Because you should be putting in so much time and effort when the numbers aren't on the board. And that's where we're going with this. Because April 3rd, April 1st, 2nd, 3rd, the first week of the month, every month, you should be all up in people's faces with your love and warm, fuzzy. You should be putting in all the time and love when nothing's coming from it. But you don't. You get to the end of the month and you start to get panicky because there's no numbers on the board. And then you feel like you're selling and then you feel like this isn't for me. This isn't for me. Right. You use that as proof when you kind of when it takes away the joy in the month, it takes away the joy in the, in the business. When you're like panicking for numbers and you're panicking for sales, then you're like, that's kind of more proof for you that this isn't for you. But you're full of it. Because if that was truly, if you truly came into this to help people, super altruistic, then you would be all up in, you know, April, first week of the month, second week of the month, adding new contacts, investing in people, finding those people to help, loving on them, investing in them, connecting with them, hey girling them, um, doing Haley's Gangster Act connections. You should be all over that. Us pearls should be all over that stuff. But there's something that's holding us back and then we're using these excuses at the end of the month, okay? So let's just like put that to bed and get a plan, okay? All right. Hi, Martha. I love you too. <laughs> Martha and me, we're pearls, so she gets me. Um, okay. So Martha falls my plan and Martha hits some success club. Yes, she does. Um, so I will, let me just kind of say this real quick. Yes. When I use the word success, I'm going to talk about traditional success. I agree with you that... Um, 
how you define success success is just dis- is different you know for everybody um so we can say oh i'm a success if i'm helping people um okay that's fine let's just let's just that's cool but um we're talking about making a real difference in people's lives and we're talking about putting these the things that we know make a huge difference in someone's lives in their hands and that is these challenge packs that is a shakeology that is a challenge group experience okay so if you are not talking to and helping and loving enough people throughout the month that you can't get at least three then you're not really doing what you said you came to do um and again i don't mean to hurt your feelings just identify that okay and i and just decide do i want to be a hobby coach and do that or do i really want to change lives okay so you've decided right and you're here so i'm going to share with you um how my my month looks and then i'm going to share with you kind of more how i do that the you know couple day maybe tuesday and wednesday um maybe wednesday and thursday because it's going to talk about heavily talk about free groups um and i know this isn't going to be everyone's jam but i do think i some of you might um do well to listen even if you don't think it's your jam because you might find where this could be your jam um, and it works really well for me. It's why I'll hit success Club 10 today. It's because I just finished a free group. Um, so my week, my, my month looks like this. Um, and I'm going to back up to the end of the month. So week four slash five, depending on how the month falls, I'll have a five day free group and it will generally bleed into the first of the month. This month was awkward because the first was Saturday. So I, I ended my group on the 30th, but most of the time it'll like end on like the second, third, fourth, depending on the month. So I always plan it that way so that I am heavily inviting from my free group first. And that's where I get pretty much success club, my initial success club points, a lot of them. And I'm inviting, I'm inviting right there in the beginning of the month. Um, and then I'm hitting. And then that next next month, I'm still, or that next week, I am still inviting. Heavy inviting from my free group, from all the connections I made the month prior, and um, starting to enroll people. Week two of the month is my prep week. My prep week for my challenge group. Now, I'm setting this up to give those people who joined in the beginning something to roll into, but I'm also able to continue to invite because it, the group hasn't officially started. So I have a place to roll those people into who, who came on board in the beginning, and then anybody else I'm continuing to invite, they go into, um, you know, I'll invite them during uh, week two, that's my prep week, so. And I'll also have my sneak peek this week, my open house, whatever you wanna call it, and I'll be able to invite from previous challenge group and uh, my free group. Week three is when I run my challenge group. That's when I start day one of my 21 day, 30 day, whatever. But also I'm promoting my next free group. That's when I start to promote my next free group because week four slash five is my next free group. Now, what does this do for me? This, I have this on my calendar for the next several months. I have these dates marked out. And when I have these marked out, I know exactly what each week what I'm focusing on. I know exactly each week what I'm inviting to. You always want to have something to invite to, right? And if I have this kind of mapped out each day, then it's it's just so easy. It's like color by number, right? So if you want to try something like this and you want to try something like this starting now, you'll have, you can do that. Even though you're kind of off my schedule, you could start that now. Like you could promote a free group starting today, heavily invest in inviting to a free group this week and then start one next week. And then you'll still be solid to hit your numbers, you know, from that group, but still obviously you should be inviting still at all times. Um, you can do that. And then, um, next month kind of back it up a month and that's that's what I've done is when I started doing this I didn't have it kind of flowing quite so smoothly and then I ended up backing it up a week at a time just to make sure that I had it so that I was um, finishing my free group right at the end of um, the month and inviting in that first week so you can take a few months to like kind of back it up to get it to that like smooth flowing system so um We'll talk about those free groups, and if you want to go ahead and promote one starting now, I can kind of give you my my best action, my um, my my best practices um, starting throughout this week uh, because this is my jam. This is how I. This is how the like pearl girl. This is how the warm fuzzy girl who was terrified of inviting um, was able to put 
huge numbers on the board without like feeling like she was uh, having to be bold and aggressive. Now I've grown a lot in the past four years so that I, I'm much more <laughs> bold and I invite a lot more comfortably now. But in the beginning, I was so afraid. I was so afraid of being a salesperson, but I knew that I wanted to help people that I was so relentless in doing whatever it took to not be one. And so I never felt like one because I was so heavily invested in the people in that connection early in the month. So I never felt like I was inviting out of nowhere. So if, if you want to go with my plan, I mean, you know, I'll show you how my, my, exactly my looks, but if free groups aren't your thing and maybe you're, you know, right now that's not something you want to focus on. I would encourage you to not try to start anything new if what you're doing is working for you because you know, right now you're building, you're building a diamond and you need to do that. You need to not focus on creating new things right now, right now you're in a push and it's time to push. And so continue that. But if you're already doing free groups and it's something that might bless you to like um, to start yours next week, um, we can definitely do that. So right now, week one of the month, you need to be adding a new coach and new co contacts like it's your job. It is your job. OK, that, there's a reason that on the power hour, the first thing is adding new contacts. So often people don't. That's like the, the last thing people do in their connections. Um, there is a reason. That's the first thing. Now, I am a batch inviter my power hour has pretty much always looked different and I've and I share this with my team you may not look at your power hour and do three people a day you know three new contacts three um, you know three three connections three invites you might not that doesn't work well for me because I use up so much emotional energy <laughs> just to invite um, that I have to just like I'll do it like once or twice a week and I'll do it in like large proportions and huge batches so there's a few things on your power hour that you can't do in batches like you obviously need to do your PD every day you obviously need to do Shakeology every day you can't batch your workouts you gotta do those daily right there's certain things that just are daily there's some things that you can just add like a crap ton of new um, like I can just focus for an hour on adding to my network right um, the next day I will be all up in my connections it will be like dozens okay so this is something that works well for me and, and if that's something that better for me because let's think about this when you go to invite like how much emotional energy do you take to invite for me it's like okay here I go you know I gotta kind of not anymore but in the beginning it was like so much emotional energy I knew I needed to do it but it took so much like I got so melodramatic about it because I was still not comfortable but like if you're just doing it once or twice in a week but you're doing it in huge proportions like I'm talking like dozens then you, you, you work out that emotional energy once or twice that week and then you get into this role and this flow and then like now you're like oh I had 20 but I'm on a roll who else can I invite it's amazing so I encourage the batch inviting um, and especially when you're trying to set up your your month in a way that you are um, in, a, in an effective way I feel like my first month the first week it has to be so heavy so so heavy um, on inviting for me but for you if you're like you're not you're not there your challenge group say is like set scheduled for depends on when your, your group is scheduled for you're gonna need to back this up and put so much of your heavy connections in the beginning of the month so right now is this this week should be the kind of effort you put into week one of the month should look like the effort so many of you are putting into the last week but not but not like pushing for success club this should be where you are just pouring 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 into people this month this or this week you should be doing all of that as early as possible. So say um, your group is, I don't know when your group is planned for, if it's you know the end of the month or if it's, if it's the beginning of the month. I don't know if it's like say your group started today, um, but your next group is the first week of May. You have so much time to be investing in people, but most of you aren't. You're just hunting for success club numbers. You aren't putting in the, the, the farming. So, um, I'm gonna, I told you I'd keep this short, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna close off with this. I'm gonna share with you how, what my month looks like, but um, I want you to think about your business as, a, you know, like you're a, a farmer, and, um, and there's pearls, we don't wanna be hunters, right? Like that, some like the ruby type, some people kinda get, you know, like get excited, get geeked out about like that, the energy that comes from like that push, that like pressure, but people like me, that's, that makes us feel panic, that makes us feel inauthentic, um, but here we find ourselves hunting at the end of the month time and time again. So be a farmer, be 
ready to, to reap that harvest um, by the end of the month by putting so much of that love and watering and nurturing, you know, right now. Okay, so I do want to keep this short, so I'm going to shut my mouth, and um, I want to share with you um, via like an image um, and some text, um, you know, a little bit more, some steps on how to do this. So I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below, and I'm supposed to get on my mastermind call right now. I'm late for, and I'll answer those afterwards. So thanks for listening. Tomorrow, I'm going to talk to you pearls a little bit more. I'm going to step on some more toes, okay? All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.